Hi sunshines, I'm coming to you very unglamorous from the yarn shop. I just taught a class. My students are all gone. Um, but spring break is coming this coming week and I'm not going to have my children. So I'm hoping to do a lot of stuff and I thought I would vlog some of it. Not all that's going to be crafting related. So this is my tentative to-do list. Um, it's the 20... 9th of March and spring break officially starts Thursday after school. Some of this stuff could well be done before then. Um, actually, this vanilla sock right here, I finished today. So I'm hoping to get some of these things completed before Thursday. Um, and I'm sure there will be even more added to this list as we get closer to Thursday. And, you know, this is a working list, so I can add things to it while I'm on break. Um, the numbers next to things is how many hours I anticipate things going or things taking. Because I am pretty notorious for not giving myself enough time to do things. Some of these things I plan to do a little bit of work each day, so those would be like, this is a half hour a day for uploading patterns to Payhip. And um, do I have reading on here? No. Well, I plan to read for an hour a day. And I plan to do a shawl design and work on it for two hours a day, not in one sitting plan to break that up. But those are some things I plan to do daily. And I am going to pull out my um, passion planner, which I haven't used, haven't touched in probably two months, to break things up, plan out my day just a little. Even though it's going to be spring break, I'm still going to set my alarm uh, probably for an hour later than I normally get up every day. You know what? I have two alarms. I have like my early alarm and my actual alarm. So maybe I'll just make my actual alarm my early alarm and then have my then have an hour later alarm, which will be my actual alarm for that week. I like to have the extra alarm because if I'm ready to wake up that hour early, then it's nice to have that extra hour of the day, but I don't have to wake up at that time if I'm still tired. Hi sunshines, it's Tuesday the 30th of March and I am seeing you earlier than anticipated for spring break, kind of. So this morning as I was driving into work, I got a call from my superior. One of my colleagues tested positive for COVID, so I am working from home for the next few days and um, they are asymptomatic. So as of right now, they're okay. Hopefully they remain okay. But anyway, I am walking to the school because my littles are still at school today. Um, I checked with my superior and they said, yes, my small humans could be at school. So they've been asking and asking and asking for ever if we could walk to and from school. So today I told them I would pick them up walking. I went to the store today to get helmets so that we could maybe ride bikes and scooters to school. Well, Gabriel has a bike, Mara has a scooter, and I will be rollerblading. So I got helmets for that. So maybe after spring break, that's a thing we can do. And then I spent my day cleaning and knitting. I finished my sorrel sweater, which I will insert a picture here. Please excuse the messy living room. I chose to knit instead of clean, whatever. I can clean tomorrow. I was cleaning, or I was knitting, because I was waiting for some sort of communication as to what I should do for um, working remotely today, but nothing ever came through. So, finished the sweater, working on 
the Wonder Wander Mittens. So I have the first one through the gusset. So now I'm on the top portion of the mitten. And that's what I'll be knitting as I walk to the school and home. Oh, friends. <laughs> the boy child is outside playing with friends from the neighborhood. And probably 10 minutes ago, he called someone an idiot. So I opened the door and I was like, hey, I don't know who needs to fix their language right now, but one of you needs to fix your language. And he was like, got it, sorry. Well, one of his friends just said, hey, remember that time that I kicked your bad word? And, <laughs> and so the other three boys were like, language, language. It was not my son who said it because if it was, I would have told him he had to come in, but it was one of the other ones. And it makes my heart so happy that all the boys are like, language, we don't want her to come back out. I thought I was going to write things out um, and actually plan them. But then I realized that I don't want to set myself up for failure. <laughs> and if I write out when I want to do tasks, then on days when I don't feel like doing that task, I'm just going to be like, oh, but I wrote that I need to. So I'll either won't do it and I'll feel bad about it or I will do it, but I will do a poor job at it. So instead what I did is I did kind of a block scheduling for an ideal day. So I have mostly big chunks of time, three to four hours of time, except for breakfast. Breakfast is one hour that is, you know, making the breakfast mess and then cleaning it up. And then the other blocks are kind of general things. Oh, I just realized that I wanted to work on the shawl for two hours a day and I only put it down for one scheduled hour. I need to consider if I want to add that back in somewhere else or if I just want to fit in that additional hour throughout the day. Um, that's something I can play around with. I'm sorry, my hand is shaky. I should have grabbed my tripod, but I didn't. Um, but yeah, I just have general idea of when I want to work on things and what I want to work on during those times. So I have a schedule, but it's not strict. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down what I actually did over here in my planner. That way I know what I accomplished when and I can see if I'm wasting time somewhere um, by not working on the things that I want on my to-do list. It's Thursday morning. I am in my grandma's basement doing laundry, getting ready for school. This is my nest. And I'm doing laundry today at my grandma's house so that on Sunday, my mom and I can both have the day off. I won't have to travel anywhere. She won't have to cook anything. We are both planning on just staying in bed all day. Hi, sunshines. It is Thursday night. It is my camera's blurry. Hmm. Well, I guess that's how it's going to be. Um, it's Thursday. It is officially spring break for everybody. It's probably around midnight. I took a nap from like 5 to 7 this afternoon, evening, because I was exhausted. I don't know why I was exhausted, but I was. Um, so yeah, now I'm getting ready to start a couple books because I finished a book today. Well, I'm going, I'm, words. I'm going to start one book, but I have three books that I'm going to start tonight and tomorrow. So one tonight, two tomorrow. And, um, let's look at some things. I finished, oh, I finished two books today. Um, anyway, I, this is my to-do list and I have crossed some things off, which is exciting since my plan was to not start this until um, next week. And I have at least a couple of these things underway too. So yeah, I'm excited about the state of my list. 
on the knitting front, I have made really good progress on these fingerless mitts. I don't know that I even mentioned that I was doing these at any point. I started them yesterday. The pattern is Tick by me. They're called the Tick Mitts. Uh, they're based off of time. So that's why they're called Tick. There's Tick Mitts and Talk Socks that are not the same pattern, but they're both are based on time. Um, the yarn that I'm using is Fiber Nymph Dye Works in something like Road Trips and Colors or something like that. It was the ZK exclusive last year, and um, I totally forgot. I didn't forget. I wrote down on a list that I was twinning with this yarn, but then I didn't start it until yesterday when my partner tagged me and was like, oh, I finished my socks. And I was like, oh yeah, okay. Let me, let me start something. I have made a pair of socks out of this yarn. Um, I have, they're sitting right, right next to me. They're dirty. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so I've made a pair of socks out of this yarn already and this is my leftovers. So I am pretty close to finished. I have eight rounds to go. I might extend them a little bit to use up more of this yarn, but maybe not because I haven't put this in any of my scrappy blankets. So maybe I'll just do it to pattern and then save this for blankets. I think that's what I'm going to do because it's really, really pretty. I'm not normally a pink person, but something about these speckles I just love. Like I wouldn't wear a sweater out of this, but... The fingerless mitts and socks are super cute. I have also worked some on these mittens. Um, I don't know which one was the first and which one was the second. The first one I finished yesterday, and then I had this much to go on the second mitten, plus thumbs on both. So now both of the bodies are finished, and I am, I think, about a third of the way through the thumb. My plan is to use up, I used up all of this orange in the thumb. Now I'm going to use up all of the yellow in the thumb, which um, I don't have very much yellow left. So I don't know how many rounds that will be. And then I will do the tip of the thumb in blue. I just thought it would be kind of cute to bring that striping into the thumb. And uh, I was at my grandma's today and my mom saw those and she was like, oh, those are really cute. And I was like, well, if you wear mittens, you can have them because I made these with no recipient in mind. I just made myself mittens earlier this year, so I don't need another pair of mittens. And these aren't my colors anyway. I just wanted to make them. <laughs> so yeah, I think these are going to my mom. In book news, I finished reading two books that I had been reading for a little bit. Um, I finished two books today. So I finished Shadow Glass, which I already returned to the library because it was due back, I don't know, on Sunday or something. And I just finished it today. So I returned that. And then I finished Tristan Strong Destroys the World, which was really, really good. It is um, a middle grade book. And it's I just talked about it on the last podcast in more detail, but highly recommend. It's the second book in a trilogy. I am really excited for the third book in the trilogy. I don't know when that's going out, coming out. I didn't look it up. I think this just came out a few months ago. So let's see. Yep. 2020. No. Where is it? That's not the page I'm looking for. This is the page I'm looking for. So... Map illustration is 2020. Okay, the copyright is 2020. <laughs> that was a lot of work just to find that. So yeah, probably won't see the third one for a bit, but I'm looking forward to it when it comes out. And tonight I am planning to start Slay by Brittany Morris. I don't know what this is about, but I saw it in... Um, Sorry about the glare. I saw it in the book fair that my kids' school held last month, and it sounded really good. 
but I was over budget already because <laughs> I bought books for myself and books for my personal kiddos and then a book for each of my classroom kiddos. So I put this one on hold at the library and it came in. I'm going to read this. And tomorrow I'm going to start Why Are All the Black Kids Sitting Together in the Cafeteria? And um, this is called Dogs and Goddesses. I'll be listening to this on the drive. And my plan is to read 20 pages in this every day of spring break. Good morning, sunshines. It is Saturday the 3rd of April, and spring break has officially started. So I am in my living room, did a little bit of cleaning so far this morning, and a little bit of crochet, and what are you doing? My dog just, well, my sister's dog just kind of stood up on the couch. Hi. And she, her back legs failed. She didn't know what she was doing. So anyway, um, wow, this camera is really, really different than my old one. So I have a new phone. I haven't gotten a new phone in a long time. And this is an, um, a note. Why don't I just look? This is a Galaxy Note Ultra no, Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G. That's a mouthful. I don't know. <laughs> my kid's dad picked it up for me because um, my phone is on his plan. And this is, um, he got himself one, so he got me one. So I don't know anything about this phone other than it is bigger and different than my old phone. Now the cat is scratching at her collar because she hates it. Oh my gosh, animals. What is going on? Sassitude. So, yes, spring break. So I started crocheting my design shawl. Would you like to see what I've done so far? Here is the beginning of the shawl. This is about 30 minutes of work because Gage had to rip out a few times, restart with different hook sizes. Um, I'm using... Barocco Ultra Cotton DK, no, not Ultra Cotton, Modern Cotton DK, and my hook is a Brittany um, size E. There you go, which is a 3.5 millimeter. So just got a little start on that. My plan is to do two hours a day. It's slow going because the cotton is... Uh, a little bit splitty, as is the nature of cotton yarn. So um, if I was doing this out of a different type of material, it would go faster, but it's okay. My plan is to do two hours a day, um, but I'm going to have to space them out by like hours in between because um, for some reason my left elbow hurts today. I'm right-handed but my left elbow kind of hurts, so I'm gonna to have to take it easy on um, knitting and crocheting and my left wrist, now that I think about it. Today, my nest is in a soft-sided bin so that it can be portable because this morning I was cleaning upstairs and, you know, taking breaks and stuff, and this afternoon, it's right around noon right now, and Patrick went out to pick us up lunch. We are going to have a date today um on our bed we're gonna have a bed picnic and i'm having a sushi bowl he is picking up some gourmet hot dogs or whatever i don't know fancy hot dogs and then we're gonna watch wonder woman so i needed my nest to be portable because then when he goes to sleep i'm gonna go back upstairs and clean and knit and stuff so this is my nest you want to look at it i have these mitts that are not in a bag um this is the Rebirth cowl that I'm making using Lola Bean Trolla, a Dr. Pepper, because it was upstairs and it needed to come downstairs. Um, my vanilla sock with a double scoop heel is in there. This is my shawl design. I brought some spinning so that maybe I'll do some spinning. I haven't spun since ever ago. My tink tank is down there. 
I am almost to where I need to be for um, one side of the shoulder. I have an audiobook, which is great when I'm cleaning. I have two books that I can read. It's Slay and Why Are All the Black Kids Sitting Together in the Cafeteria? Yes. And then these mittens I finished yesterday, but I didn't weave in ends. So that's going to be task one during the movie. <laughs> but there's my nest. And these are the patterns. I don't usually print out patterns, but I am... I've been knitting at work and um, it's just easier to have a paper pattern than try to reference on my phone. It's different when I'm looking at a computer screen, but at work it, it would be my phone or a piece of paper. A piece of paper is easier. After the movie, I came upstairs and realized that I didn't like the drape that was in the shawl that I had so far, so I ripped it all out and went down a hook size. Actually, this is the same hook size, but it's a metal hook instead of a wooden hook, which changes my gauge a little bit. And then I played around with the stitches a little bit. So it's different than it was this morning, but I'm much happier with it now. I'm going to put it away until tomorrow, see if I still like it in the morning. When I'm designing, I like to put things away fairly frequently especially in the beginning stages while things are still still synthesizing um, rather than get super, super far into it and decide I hate it. So yeah, I'm going to set it aside, do some cleaning, work on some other things. Uh, we didn't finish Wonder Woman because our internet told Patrick it was time to go to bed. <laughs> it usually drops out right around the time that he should be going to bed. So that's what happened. Um, so we'll finish it in the morning. Tomorrow morning. Yeah, I'm going to watch podcasts and read and knit and clean. Hello sunshines, it is Monday morning, um, no, just after, maybe still morning, it's Monday, and Patrick and I were supposed to have like a date day, morning, afternoon sort of thing, but he was really tired when he got home, so I'm taking myself on a little kind of date. <laughs> it's raining out, and I am about to walk into Meijer, which is a grocery super center sort of deal. Um, so I'm going to go pick up some stuff that we need and then I'm going to go pick up coffee from somewhere and take myself to the park. It's only supposed to rain for a couple hours. So I might go to the library first, pick up a new audiobook because I finished, um, Dogs and Goddesses yesterday. And then I have my umbrella in the car so I can always go walk at the park in the rain. That doesn't bother me. Um, especially since I don't have any obligations after and I can just dry my shoes when I get home. So let's go for a little adventure date, shall we? All right, friends, shopping managed and now I'm at the library um, to return the audiobook that I had and also Tristan Strong and to pick up a new audiobook. Maybe I'll pick up two. So that I don't, don't have to come back in case I really like the one that I start today while walking. Um, because I'll have to come back for Friday's drive if that happens. Maybe I should pick up three. Maybe that's overkill. <laughs> we'll see what they have on option. Um, I already ate my lunch. I brought an oven sandwich. Which, that's what we call them. It's just an onion roll with... Um, bottom layer of cheese, well, bottom layer of the bun 
and then with some butter or oil on it, and then a layer of cheese, a layer of meat, a layer of cheese, a layer of meat, and if you're feeling decadent and really like cheese like I do, another layer of cheese, and then a little bit of butter or oil on the, um, on the top of the bun, and then they go into the oven for 10 to 15 minutes at 350, and they're so good. It's like my go-to vacation type food like especially when I don't have kids to feed because they refrigerate really well I like them cold I also like them microwaved I like them straight out of the oven I just really like them and you know a pack of onion rolls a pack of two packs of deli meat and a pack a big bag of shredded cheese makes eight sandwiches so that's kind of like what I'm eating for lunch this whole week um, and I'm starting to get my midday migraine, which is a thing this week um, because we have rainstorms and then we have hot weather and cold weather and the weather just can't make up its mind. So daily migraine is about to start. So I'm going to take an Excedrin migraine and I am going to drink a coffee drink. So sorry for my hand in the shot. Um, I have never been to Big B Coffee. I think it's a Michigan company, but I'm not sure. Um, in college, my roommates senior year were obsessed. They had d a distinct coffee habit. They would go to Big B's probably three to five days a week. Um, I did not have a coffee habit because I was too poor to have a coffee habit. Also, I don't like coffee. So what I got is a cosmic chai. Um, so I'm hoping it's good. I really just wanted something warm and cozy to take on my lunch date with myself. My sandwich was warm because I heated it before I left. Um, and I could have made myself a tea at home, but I kind of wanted to be fancy. And also I've never tried Big B before. Um, right on that street, like within one, on one block, there's a Dunkin' Donuts where I could get a coffee or um, a chai, but I don't like their chai at Dunkin' Donuts. I don't know if it's just my Dunkin' Donuts, but it always tastes burnt, so I don't get the chai there. And then, sorry, I think I have some onion on my tooth, or like a little onion thing, sorry. Um, so I don't like that. And then, I could get a coffee drink at Tim Hortons, and sometimes I do, but I don't love coffee the way that I love tea. So I decided I would try Big B today. Do you want to see? We can do it together. My hand's going to be awkward on the phone again. Sorry. It's probably too hot because they just made it. I usually let my drinks cool for a while because my mouth is very sensitive to hot things. It smells okay. Oh, that's good. So the Cosmic Chai has extra honey, I think, that sat on the board. I don't know. I panic picked it. I was just going to get a chai, but I didn't see just chai listed on the board through the drive through I was like, oh, I'll try a Cosmic Chai. So I think it has extra honey and extra cinnamon. I don't love cinnamon except in chai. And the honey is a nice little bit of added sweetness. I'd probably get just a regular chai. Or maybe if I needed, um, I think they have a chai, it's called Chai Booster or something that has an espresso shot in it. So I might try one of those next time I get a drink from there, but that's pretty good. And it's not too hot, which is good to know. That means I could theoretically take my kids through to get drinks in the morning before school and be able to actually drink the drink before school instead of having to wait for it to cool down. All right, let's go get some books.
so what had happened was I went to the adult section to look at playaways and I found one because I absolutely pick things based on title so I found one and then I was like well I can always go look upstairs at the kids ones so then I saw these and they're about kids escaping Disney villains or something I don't know I don't actually read the backs of books because I don't want to know what's going to happen and then I went into the young adult section and there was only one play away on their shelf that I hadn't listened to yet. So I picked it up because I've listened to all of the other playaways in the young adult section. And then I saw the, the books and I had to get four of them apparently, even though I still have like four books from the, no, probably like eight books from the library that I need to read. Yeah, whatever. I can't help it. I love the library so much. So much. I'll read them eventually. I've read, I finished, what, three books in the past week? So, yeah. It's fine, right? It's fine. It's fine. I have the whole park to myself, which is exciting. I decided I would start The Return. And I'm going to knit a little bit on my vanilla sock as I walk. And also play Pokemon Go. So probably not a lot of knitting. But I have the option. Good morning, friends. I'm gonna come by your bench. <laughs> they say no. They say we are not friends. You may notice this location, or recognize, I mean, probably not though, it, because when I take photos here, it's all green on that bush and these trees, but it's springtime. We're not there yet. It's a lovely drizzly day. The currently empty fountain. which is a huge draw when it's warm out. sunshines it is Tuesday night. I've recorded zero things today because I spent the day cleaning. Yeah, pretty much that was my day. Um, I watched a couple hours of Blue Bloods with Patrick. He's binge watching it on Amazon Prime, I think. I don't know. And it's a law thing, criminal show cop show. I don't know. He's really into it and it's about um, a family. A family who the dad is the police commissioner, um, a daughter, the daughter's an ADA, and the 
two brothers are officers. One's a detective and one's a, um, a beat cop. So that's interesting-ish. Um, yeah, not a lot to check in on today. I have been working on some things, but I think I'm going to record an episode tomorrow. I am working tomorrow. I'll be at the yarn shop. So I think I'm going to go in early and record an episode and post that which you'll see before you see this. So I don't know why I'm telling you all this. Thinking out loud, I guess. Um, yeah, I am going to get ready for bed. And I did totally just put on tinted lip balm to go to bed because I couldn't find a normal chapstick close enough to my bed to put on. So, fancy for going to sleep all by my lonesome. That's fine. What else? Do you guys wear like romper type things? I'm in a jersey one piece thing and I picked it up at the thrift store. We went to the thrift store two weeks ago, I think. And it's kind of my favorite thing. I thought it was a dress. I was looking really, really quick through um, through the dresses just to see, pick up a couple things that would be work appropriate. Um, and I saw this and I picked it up and I thought it was a sundress. And even though it doesn't have sleeves, I could just throw a cardigan or something over it. And then I went to put it on this week and realized that it is not a dress and it has legs-ish. So I'm probably not going to wear it to school because I feel like it looks very frumpy. Um, if I were the type of person who had accessories, I think it would be really cute with a belt to bring it in around my waist, but I don't have accessories. <laughs> not that type of accessory. So I'm just going to wear it around the house, but it's very comfy. I've never... Not I've never. I haven't had anything like this since I was, I don't know, under 10. But it's really comfy. I'm glad that I picked it up. Oh, did you see it yesterday? You did. You saw it yesterday. We had date day. And it was lovely. We ended up going to a mall that is not super local to us. It's not terribly far away, but it's like... There are like three other malls closer to us, but that's the bougie mall. We went to the bougie expensive mall just to walk around because it was kind of chilly and the original plan, well, there were a couple plans. My original plan was to um, get a hotel room for Monday night and... Um, go to Frankenmuth, which is not terribly far away from us. I think it's like an hour and a half drive or something, but go there, get a hotel room so that we could like get food to bring back to the hotel room and walk around some of the shops and stuff. Um, just take like a little mini vacation, right? Well, Patrick didn't want to. So we didn't do that. So he was like, oh, maybe we'll just go to Detroit and get food and walk around downtown. Well, it was kind of chilly for walking around yesterday. It wasn't like terribly cold. It was nice walking when I went in the afternoon. But then by the time he wanted to go anywhere, it was like 4 p.m., and it was getting chilly. So I was like, I, I don't want to do that. So then he was like, well, let's go to the mall. Let's walk around. And um, yeah, that's what we did. We got soup at our favorite soup place. And um, I picked up a skirt. <laughs> and I picked up some of these hairband things that are not hairbands. They're coils. I got those. And I got a couple face masks for Mara because they were on sale for $2 each. And 
that's everything we bought. Oh no, that's not true. I went to Victoria's Secret too because, okay, sidebar. I asked on Instagram several months ago um, for recommendations for bras. And Victoria's Secret Pink is my favorite. Like their t-shirt bra is my favorite everyday bra. And I really like their sports bras. But I don't love their business practices. So I ordered bras online from a couple different companies that people recommended. Um, and I don't like the way they fit. And I stuck them out for like the six month lifespan of a bra. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to get Victoria's Secret, even though I don't agree with their business practices. And I wrote an email <laughs> to the company, to a couple people in the company expressing what I don't like about their business practices. But then I got Victoria's Secret bras because they're what fit and make me feel comfortable and... Yeah. So when these bras wear out or when they get close-ish, I'm going to try another different company and see if I can find a bra that works. <sighs> yeah. I feel not great about supporting Victoria's Secret, but I also don't want bras that don't fit or that kind of fit, but make me feel, I don't know, frumpy. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. Okay, I'm going to go to bed because I'm really rambly. See you tomorrow. Hey, sunshines. It's Wednesday. I'm at the yarn shop and there is 40 minutes left to my shift. And I'm counting down the time. <sighs> so hard. I did not bring my migraine medicine with me. I did not bring my can of soda with me. I've had a migraine for like four hours now and it's awful. <laughs> and I called Patrick, did I tell you that we got his car? His car is now street legal. It's got the title transfer and stuff and insurance and license plate and stuff. So yeah, he's street legal. Um, and I called him to see if he could bring me my stuff. And he was going to sleep. And I was like, well, never mind. And he was like, no, I'll bring it to you. And I was like, no, don't do that. Even though it's not that far of a drive, I should have had him do it because, oh my gosh, it hurts. It hurts like, right here that area i just want to stick a straw up my nose and like jam my brain a little bit and just tell it to stop <sighs> i've had a migraine every day for the past week maybe two weeks i don't know Definitely while school was in session, I had a migraine, but I don't think it was a daily thing. But this whole week, I'm over it. Good morning, sunshines. It is um, Thursday, the 8th of April, and today is a big day. So I am getting my COVID vaccine today, dose one. Um, I, I was at work yesterday, and I've been logging on to the website every day over spring break um the the county's website to try to set up an appointment and every day well one time so words slow down lady um so you pick which center you want to go to and then it tells you whether or not they have vaccines there. And I think there are six on the list. I was only signing up for two of the locations because they're fairly close. Um, and one time I got through the part where you pick your location and put in my name and stuff. And then they were like, oh, this appointment slot is gone. 
All right. <laughs> Mostly I was getting the, there are no appointments available at this location at this time messages. But yesterday I picked my preferred location and it took me through my name part. And then I scheduled an appointment for today. So that's pretty exciting. So that is happening early this afternoon. But before that, Patrick and I are going to um, go pick me up some shoes because my shoes are wearing out my everyday wear to work tennis shoes. Um, the heels on the inside are wearing out. The treads on the bottom are wearing out a little bit. I've had them for a long time. <laughs> so that makes sense. Um, yeah, I got them pre shut down. So they're kind of old and I wore them, you know, every day last summer walking and I wear them every day to work now. So it's time to replace them. So Patrick and I are going to go do that very soon. And I think he's going to buy me a chai, which is exciting. He brought me home a chai, but it's from Tim Hortons and it's not very good. And he was like, I forgot these are crap. <laughs> so <laughs> his words, not mine. I would drink it if I had to, but it's really, really watery. So it's not good. So I think he's going to buy me a new chai while we're out also. And then, so first shoes, then vaccine appointment, and then I teach tonight. So a busy-ish day compared to what I've been doing. I am in the car, but we are stopped at a local party store because Patrick needs to get something to drink, even though we're going to get coffee. He said he needs something to drink to perk him up. It's like a 10 minute drive to the mall whatever. Anyway, I have started a test it for Shayna, Shayna Lyons Designs. And um, this yarn is 716 knit, 716, that's the DK weight. I don't have the tag with me. I left it in the bag at home. Um, the color weight is once more with something, tension, once more with tension. <laughs> so yeah, look at those speckles. Oh my gosh, this camera is so good. Oh, and look what he got me. It's my favorite. Stop one was unsuccessful for shoes, but got some lotion and pretzels. So kind of a success. We're going to go look at shoes at, I don't know, Famous, Famous Footwear. Footwear. Hi, sunshines. So it is a little after eight. Um, class went well. I got my, my shot. Um, it was fine, except I really hate getting shots. <laughs> but the lady who gave me the shot was super, super nice. Like, I don't know why I have such a problem. Like, in the lead up to shots, I have terrible anxiety about it. Even though I know it's not a big deal. Like, once the needle is in my arm, I'm like, I'm such a weirdo. That was not even a problem. But I think because when we were kids, like it was made such a big deal. I remember distinctly this one time we went to get our vaccines and I didn't cry. I was probably like five or six, probably five. Um, it's like, I didn't make a fuss or anything. And one of the nurses was like, Oh my gosh, you're such a good girl. You didn't even like make a big deal about it. And I was like, well, yeah, cause if I make a big deal, then my little brother and little sister are going to freak out. So, not that big of a deal and like they made a huge deal about me making not a big deal about it and I think that like my anxiety is like why aren't you making a big deal about this super fun Yay, anxiety anyway class was good vaccine was good I got two new pairs of shoes which was nice Patrick got two new pairs of shoes because he is on his feet for eight hours a day so he needs good shoes um yeah. So that was lovely. Now I am in the Wendy's drive-thru. 
because I'm hungry. The line moved. Um, I don't want to cook well when I get home. I just don't feel like it. It's late and I am driving tomorrow. The line is about to move again. I am driving tomorrow all the way to Kentucky. Um, and then I'm going to stay the night because on Saturday, my kid's dad and I are taking our kids to, um, I don't remember what it's called, a place where you can take clear bottomed kayaks through an old um, lime mine that is now underwater and rainbow trout apparently follow the kayaks a lot so it should be really really cool and exciting and yeah I am looking forward to it but that means that I'm driving all the way to Kentucky tomorrow and then I think the place is like two ish hours from him and then it's a one hour thing so sorry my hand is all in the way again um so Saturday is going to be a long day, a fun day, but a long day. And then Sunday is going to be driving. So I just want to give myself an easy night. Happy Friday, sunshines. I am in <laughs> Kentucky. It is 8 p.m. And I am sitting on my children's dad's back porch. We are taking them to a park with caves tomorrow. He needed another adult to do this thing so I love doing cave things so we are going tomorrow it should be fun um, I'll take you along as much as I'm able you know I'm not great about remembering to pick up well I'm okay at remembering to pick up the camera not great um, so yeah my day was spent six hours driving not six hours it's less than six hours but like six hours in the car with stops and stuff because I have to stop every two hours. I'm too old <laughs> to drive for long stretches of time without brakes. Um, I wore my wrist brace but when I drove them down. I told you how my wrist and elbow hurts. I wore my, my actual wrist brace, not like a wrist support thing, but like a thing with um, like boning in it. So my wrist doesn't hurt too bad today. It still hurts a little, but not terrible. And yeah. My kids are doing some chores and then we're going to hang out a little and Hades, that's the dog. He was just being inappropriate to the other dog. There's three of them. Do you guys want to see the dogs? They're pretty great. Well, one of them is my longtime nemesis, but the other two are pretty great. And my longtime nemesis has chilled way out in his old age. Casper, what are you doing? Did you say no? You're not talking to me? Scarlet. <gasps> what are you doing? Hi. Hello, Scarlet. This is Scarlet. She's the youngest. Hades. Come here. Come here. Dogs. She's not listening. Come here. This is Hades. He's the middle child and he is the biggest. Casper, you really going to ignore me? Sure you are. Uh, over there, he's the oldest and the littlest, and he is my arch nemesis. Back in the days when, uh, so he has been with my kid's dad since before my kid's dad and I were a thing. So he's probably 11 or 12. He has a grumpy old man, but he's always been grumpy. Are you going to come here? They know I don't have any treats, so they're not interested. I already gave them treats, and then I told them no more, so they don't need to talk to me the rest of the day, right? They are banished to the backyard because my kids are carrying things from the garage to the basement because their dad moved into this place around Christmas time ish I don't remember exactly when around then um oh I do it was around Thanksgiving because he moved into this place right before my kids came to stay with him for the month of December so like literally two days before they came to see him he was moving 
So he just hasn't unpacked everything. He works a lot. And so, yeah, children are moving things from the garage to the basement. What are you doing? And that's the dog's new backyard. They're very excited. I'm really tired. Driving makes me really, really tired. And I'm gonna do it all again, either late tomorrow night or early Sunday morning so that Sunday we have time to put away laundry, get ready for school on Monday. Just, I don't wanna get home late on Sunday and be out of energy to get ready. So we're gonna get home. I think the plan is we're gonna go to this place and walk around and see the things and whatever, and then we're gonna get back. And I'm gonna take a nap, and then I wake up from my nap, we're leaving, because the kids can sleep in the car. That's fine, but I can't sleep in the car when I'm supposed to be driving. Rude. Okay, I am going to knit on some things, and I'll check back in with you before bed. Good morning. I know I said I was going to check in last night, and then I played Bust Fiends instead. <laughs> Oops. So, anyway, let's look at knitting that happened yesterday and reading. Well, audiobooking. Um, my kids are outside cleaning out my car because... It's not my mess in their area and I shouldn't have to clean it. They're 10 and 12. So they're cleaning their seat in the car and I am waiting for their dad to wake up. I'm, I slept in my son's bed. It was lovely. He slept on the couch. Very thoughtful kid. Um, so yeah, then we'll get our day started. But let's check in with what I did yesterday. Also, I'm never going to get used to where the camera is on any phone ever. So this is my breakfast. It's leftover sweet potato succotash from dinner last night. I have split decision, a test knit that I'm doing for Shana Lines Designs. It's a hat. It's very, very cool. This is 716 knit in the DK base. Uh, is that the pride base maybe? And it is once more with tension. This color is Mitchell's Creations. I don't remember what the DK weight base is called and I don't remember what this colorway is but I've said it earlier in the video. Um, and if you want to know and you don't know go ahead and ask below. So here's the hat. I think I'm probably at the like 60% finished mark, maybe more like 70, getting pretty close to finished on the hat. And then I have my double scoop sock. I just finished the second, this is the second sock I finished the heel. So now it's just down the foot and a toe. I also finished these two playaways yesterday. So the return um, Disneyland's book by Ridley Pearson there has to be another series by Ridley Pearson. I did not do my research. Um, about the characters in the first place. The main characters. Because it definitely starts in Media Ray. And... Yeah, you dive right into their stories. And it seems like... It feels like there was a series of books beforehand. So I'm going to have to look into that. I also brought this A Day No Pigs Would Die by Robert Newton Peck. Um, it was not my favorite thing. It's about a boy. It takes place over, the book spans I think like two years. Um, he's on a farm. He's a shaker. And it's just, it's kind of like a day in the life sort of thing, but not a day, like a two years in the life, um, coming of age ish. So it was okay. It was short. It's only three hours of listening. So it would be a really quick read if you picked it up, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. But now I can say that I've listened to all of the playaways that are in the YA section of the library. So there is that. 
And then today I am going to start, or whenever I drive, it might be tonight, it might be tomorrow morning, um, I'm going to start Winter Garden by Kristen Hanna. Sunshines. It is Sunday the 11th of April and it is the last day of spring break. Um, I don't have much planned today. I don't know whether or not we're going to my mom's for dinner. Uh, we didn't talk about it. So I don't know. I sent her a text this morning. She hasn't gotten back to me yet. So we'll see. So that might happen but otherwise, I just plan on tidying the house a little bit, getting stuff set up to go back to school tomorrow, um, and I am going to be knitting and crocheting away. I have four projects that are pretty close to completion. The Daphne Afghan, the... Um, the vanilla socks. I'm on the foot of the second sock. I had a lot of car knitting time yesterday as we were driving to um, the place to take our hike. So I got second foot on a sock and in the morning before we, we left because Mara and I woke up at, sorry for my hand. I know I need to get better about that. Um, we woke up at like 6am and the guys didn't wake up until way later than that, and then we didn't leave until afternoon. So I had a lot of morning knitting time. Um, what else is close? My test knit for Shana is close to finished. And is it just those three things that are close to finished? Yeah. So I'm going to see what I can do today. I'd like to finish two of them for sure. I'm going to super try for the hat and the sock. I say we'll see, but I'm not going to show you if I finish them. I'm going to save them for next week's episode. Oh, and um, let me show you the Tink Tank real quick because I did make a lot of progress on that. When you saw this last, I had the back finished and I had one strap finished and I had to do the second strap. Well... Now the second strap is finished. The front is finished. Not the, well, this is the back, not the entire front, um, obviously, but like the front lace panel. And now it's stuck in it for a while. Um, so yeah, that's coming along. Hopefully when we're back at school, I can make a lot of progress on this. We'll see because it's easy. So I can work on it whenever. We'll see how it goes. I'm losing, I keep losing stitches though. When I take it out, I need to get my point protectors on so that I stop losing stitches. It's not really a big deal. They don't go anywhere. But yeah, that's the tink tank. And I think I'm going to end the vlog here so that I don't have to worry about coming back later. 
So thank you for hanging out with me the past week and a half, and I will do my very best to see you in about a week. All right. Bye friends. Oh yeah. And like, comment, subscribe, um, all the things that you do to help podcasters get visibility. I love your questions. I love the interaction that's been going on. So thank you so much for that. All right. For real now. Bye friends.